This video is sponsored by the Ultimate Freelancing Bundle by StudyWebDevelopment.com, which gives you everything you need to start your own freelancing business, including a 130-page in-depth guide, invoicing and client proposal templates, website templates, an SEO checklist, and much more. Visit the link in the description and use the code BRAD25 to get 25% off. Hey, what's going on guys? So it is Saturday morning and I just wanted to do kind of a, just a light video. I just got back from vacation with my family. We went up to New Hampshire for a couple days and uh, yeah, I needed a break. And anyone that's working 10, 12 hours a day, I would suggest taking a, a little break if possible. Uh, but anyways, in this video I wanted to talk about do leveraging your, your skills as a web developer to do things on your own, like side projects, uh, maybe freelancing, stuff like that. And I'm not saying to not get a job, because I know the, the, the common path to take is to graduate college or boot camp or sell, you know, you're self-taught when you feel you're ready, is to get a job with a salary and try to climb the ladder from there. And that's not a bad idea. But what I'm trying to get across in this video is just thinking about doing some things on your own as well. Um, or if starting your own business is what you want to do as opposed to the job, that's, that's, you know, that's great as well. Um, it's completely up to you. Everybody's circumstances are different. Everybody's wants and needs are different. But I think that when, when people say, you know, do start your own web development business or, or freelancing. They think of like, a lot of people think of the starving freelancer where you're doing jobs on Odesk for nothing because you're, comp you're competing against the, the poorest countries in the world where people are, are literally working for like a dollar an hour. And it seems like a, a recipe for failure and you often hear the term race to the bottom but there is there can be success with sites like upwork and i know a lot of people disagree with me but i'm telling you this from experience not just i'm not just pulling it out of my ass now this was a while ago it was before it was called upwork.com it was odesk.com but that's that's one of the 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 ways that I started my business. When I stopped working for companies because I decided that I wanted to build something of my own, um, Odesk, which is now Upwork, was one of the avenues that I took. Okay, one of them. That wasn't the only thing that I did. I did a lot locally and so on, but um, that was one of the avenues I took. And yeah, I worked for Peanuts at first, but I looked at it as kind of like a, um, like an internship or something like that, where you're not making the money you want and you feel you deserve, but you're getting that experience. You're getting that that experience with clients and just that general having your own business and, and running your own operation uh, type of experience, which is very valuable. And then once you rack up um, some really good ratings and reviews, then people will start to pay more for your services because they'll, they'll see that your past clients are very happy with, with your work. Um, so a lot of people do want the cheapest possible developer and those people they're not too bright because they're going to end up getting shitty work and they're going to have to start over and pay more anyway. And there are people that realize that, that don't want the cheapest developer. They want someone that's going to be competent, that's going to get the job done, give them high quality, have good communication. And it's just common sense that you have to pay for that. You get what you pay for. So I was able to up my price, my, my fee on sites like Upwork, and I would get it. I would get, get it and it opened up a lot of doors for me. Um, I, I was at a point where big businesses were finding me, finding my, I guess, my online reputation or whatever, and were, were contracting small jobs out to me, and I was making a lot of money for just a very little amount of work, you know, creating like little plugins and stuff like that. So you can be successful with those sites. Now, freelancing, Upwork and stuff, that that is part of what I'm talking about here, but it's definitely not... That's not the only thing I mean when I say work for yourself or, or, or do things for yourself. Um, I'm also talking about like side projects. So building applications and, and websites and um, SaaSes, which is software as a service, building things that can, can bring you revenue streams, um, even like blogging and stuff like that with ad revenue. So there's a lot of different paths you can take. You can build WordPress themes, HTML, CSS themes, sell those. You can build plugins. 
Um, and just to give you some examples of what I've done in the past, because I've been work, I've worked for myself for a long time, so I was, able, I was able to make my own hours, and I was able to do like extra things on the side, and, and one of those things was a little platform I built in just vanilla PHP where I could sell downloadable content and I would sell these PLR articles which are basically like copyright free articles uh, and other content that um, you can do what you want with. You can give them away, you can sell them, whatever you want. And I, I scoured the internet for these packages and I ended up with almost a million of these articles. And I, what I would do is sell uh, categorized packages of like twenty thousand for like seven or eight dollars so very cheap and people could use them in their newsletters and stuff like that on their websites there is a of course a duplicate content issue with google and stuff like that but they could use them in these different areas and people would pay a couple dollars for these packages and i'd make like a hundred bucks a day now that doesn't seem like a ton of money but it was all passive income yeah i built the platform the initial platform it was just a very simple um, kind of e-commerce platform that uh, took PayPal but after that I didn't really have to do any other work I just uploaded the packages and they could pay and download and it was passive income 100 bucks a day and I had like seven or eight of these these types of um, applications and websites that were generating ad revenue not ad revenue but revenue of some type some were ads some were not um, and then another example would be uh, a kind of sub company that I created called Joom Digi which sold Joomla components and if you guys don't know what Joomla is it's a content management system PHP based much like WordPress it was a lot more popular back then about seven or eight years ago but I created a suite of Joomla components so I had like a classifieds component a knowledge base a portfolio and people could install these on their web their Joomla websites and I charged a small fee for each one and I, I created a joomdigi.com website where they could go and they could purchase the extensions. Um, and I made about two, 200 to, to 250 per day selling these, these extensions or these components. Um, and you can sell them on, you could sell them on joomla.org. I'm not sure about now, but back then you could. And, you know, it, it took the initial time of developing the component, which wasn't that hard. Once I built one, I used it kind of as a template for the rest of them. And after that, it was just answering a couple support tickets here and there because people would have problems installing them or whatever. And it, it took like literally an hour out of my week. So that was pretty much just passive income, 250 bucks a day. So that's, that's not bad at all. So I'm just giving you some examples of things you can do and, and think of to generate multiple income streams. It doesn't have to be just client work freelancing stuff like that you can think of ideas little applications that can make you money and I think that that's the way to really uh, to really make money I mean with a job you can you can get to a hundred K you can get to 200 K uh, maybe even 300 K but the only way you're gonna get to the millions is if you really really climb that ladder you know so I think that having your own business to building your own little empire is uh, it's much more riskier. It's gonna. It's it's way riskier than than having a salary based you know solid job. Um, but you know I think it can pay off. And I'm not saying go go quit your job or change your plans and not get a job. But it's just something to think about. That's that's the point of any video like this that I create. It's just me sharing my opinions, thoughts, and experiences, so you guys can have something to think about. Um, because I think that it's, at least for me, I, I don't like working for companies. I never did. Um, even if it was something I liked doing because I felt like I was putting all my, my, my energy and time into building someone else up, someone else's company as opposed to my own. And if you look at like, you know, Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates and all the, the, the big players of the world, they, they didn't bust their ass to build up someone else's company. They created their own products. And I'm not saying that me or, or you guys or anyone, we're, we're going to build a Microsoft or an Amazon, but we might build something on a lower level that can make more than just a, a regular job at someone else's company. 
Um, so me, I took the education route. I sold off all those assets that I, that I was just talking about and I invested everything into education and creating courses, this YouTube channel. This is my, this is my thing and this is another avenue that you guys could take if, if possible. You could create courses and, and learning products, stuff like that. You know, maybe even create like a code academy or an interactive uh, learning site. That's another option. There's just there's a lot of things you guys can do to leverage your skills as as a developer. Um, so you know, I, I've mentioned this before, but I got a job offer from Google this year that I rejected, and and a lot of people don't understand why, and some people even got angry because that's like the dream job of a developer. How how could you reject that? But it's not what I want to do. Uh, it's not my dream job, you know. I don't. I, I love what I do because I get to help people, um, and I couldn't do that doing anything else. I wouldn't have the reach. And when I get emails from people saying that, you know, I've helped them get get jobs, I've helped them out of poverty, I've helped with their depression, like that means the world to me, and that that makes this worth it, even if I wasn't making the money that I am. And when we talk about money and, and, and the financial aspect of it, I make more now than I would at Google, you know, and, and I'm, much, I'm, I'm more proud of that because it's something I built from the ground up. So it gives you that satisfaction when you work for yourself. Um, but again, you know, get your job, but on the side, try, to, try and build some whatever you want to do, whatever type of, of applications you want to build or if you want to do client work on the side whatever it may be but I'm just saying you don't have to stick to just that that one job you know and, and of course it's going to take time it's going to take a lot of work uh, a lot of passion and energy but you can get there and don't think because you're not a business major or anything like that that you can't do it um, I, I came from nothing 12 years ago I had a life of addiction of, of I, was, I was poor I was in a, just a, a bad mental state, severe anxiety, depression, social anxiety, which st is stuff I all still I have today as well, but I've, I've managed it, I've got it under control, so uh, I'm just in a much better place. So don't think because of where you're at today that you can't get to where you would really like to be, because it is possible. Um, if I can do it, anybody can do it, trust me. So. Just something to think about, guys. I, I don't want to keep ranting on and on about this, um, but you know, just just uh, look 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 up some some ideas. You know, maybe I'll do a video with some ideas that you can do or stuff that you can create to kind of leverage your skills and and you know create a little side income for yourself. Uh, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, one of the best, if not the best resource I can refer you to for starting a freelance business is at studywebdevelopment.com slash freelancing. The creator Kyle shared it with me and I can personally vouch that this bundle is well worth it. You get a 130 page guide to freelancing and it comes with things like invoice templates, client proposals, HTML and CSS templates, a portfolio website, access to a private Facebook community and much more. So use the code BRAD25 to get 25% off today.